So you've just bought the new Peloton Tread, but where do you start? In this video, I'm gonna take you through the screen and software on the new Tread, and also show you some really good places to start if this is all very new to you. I'll also show you a couple of things I wish I knew before I started using the Peloton Tread. Let's get cracking. The first place to start is here on the home screen, and each, everyone in your family will have their own profile. So there's me, my wife, my daughter and my son with his lockdown haircut. I'm gonna have to get him to change that picture. <laughs> and to add a family member, you just click add member and you can either create an account for them or if they've already got a Peloton app account, for instance, you can add them in here. It's important to remember though that everybody in your household will automatically get access to the app included in your $39.99. So make sure there's no overlaps where somebody might have a membership to the app, you buy a tread, you'll need to amalgamate the two. Don't run two separate memberships, save you money. From the profile screen, you go into the, your home screen. So this will show you things like if you've got friends working out now, you can view the class and maybe join them. I've got two friends working out. But the more you use a tread, the more this populates. So it's suggesting for my usual, I might wanna dive straight into a 20 minute intervals run. If I'm short of time, maybe a 20 minute uh, pop run. And these are instructors that the tread knows that I use a lot and like. Something new, different type of intervals run. This is an intermediate class, so I'm kind of almost at the intermediate stage, so it's kind of suggesting maybe I should do one. There's also boot camps. There's also some strength training recommended, as well as some other things. Along the bottom here, you'll get featured classes. And here's the instructors that I normally use. So it's starting to tell me that there's two new classes from Matty. Rebecca's got three new classes. And then Selena's got four new classes. Up here, you can see the next classes that are coming up. So these are live classes, although this one's an encore. So it'll have a live leaderboard, but it won't have, it's not a live class. So at 11 a.m., there's a 20 minute bodyweight strength class coming up. There's also um, a running class, perhaps more relevant to the tread. This is actually a live class, and if I want to do this class, I can just count myself in for it. After that, uh, you've got some yoga at 12, and at 12.30 p.m., lunch, just after lunch, or at lunch, you've got strength for runners. So if you're new to this and you're not quite ready to jump into these runs, click on more. You've got a choice of just run, so you just start running here, and then what you get is your incline and your speed, your pace, and also your output but the screen remains blank like this throughout the whole run. If you want to do a scenic run, you can view the routes here. Uh, now, these are just POV sort of camera shots really. I don't think they're actually runs. I think it's somebody maybe on a bike or something, but the way they move around, it's a bit glidey. Maybe it's a drone, I don't know. But if you want some scenery while you're running, I quite like the city ones. So um, there's some really good kind of city city type runs on here as well. So if you do do a scenic run, there is a leaderboard. So this is all the people that have ever done this run, 31,364, and you'll get your place on the leaderboard. Uh, you can also see who's doing this right now. Currently, it's just me. If you're not interested in the leaderboard at all, you can just click that away. And you can with all these metrics really, you can just get rid of nearly everything on the screen. Okay, so back to the home screen. So if I look at um, the schedule, I can see when the next uh, classes are coming up. So this is showing all the tread classes. If I specifically just want to do walking classes, I can filter that down and just see the walking classes. If I want to do boot camp, which is a combination of on the tread and off the tread with weights or bands or body weight exercises, or if I specifically want to just run, there's the, um, the running classes. And you can see that there's, there's quite a few live classes, not as many as the bike, uh, but they are there. Generally, I just go to a class, which is down the bottom here, and here's where you can really start to filter things. So let's stick with running again. Uh, you might have a particular instructor that you like. You can also look at the length of a class, say 20 minutes. You can pick your own music genre, and then you can click the difficulty. So I'm still very much in the beginner phase, but I'm almost intermediate. I'm not sure I can be that bothered to get to advanced. 
<laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, hopefully intermediate's where I want to end up. And then you've got class type as well. Now running skills are really good if you're new to the tread because it really teaches you about form. Uh, you've also got a themed ride, music, endurance, etc. Uh, by default, the classes are set to the newest first. If you're really new, you might go with the easiest class, or if you feel like you're at the top end of beginner, you might just switch that out to the hardest beginner class. Or you might pick the most popular class, or you might pick classes that are trending on Peloton. If you're not ready for running, you can also select walking classes. Now, some of the hardest walking classes are actually harder uh, than some of the uh, running classes. So for instance, if you wanted to go for a hike, and if I look at the hardest hike, the hardest hike is graded at 7.7 .7 out of 10, whereas if I look at the easiest run, the easiest run is only a five out of 10. Before using your tread as well, you might click on these three dots and go to Peloton 101. It shows you really basic stuff, how to place your mat, how to adjust the angle of your screen. You just grab it and turn it basically. Um, pairing the heart rate monitor and all sorts of other stuff as well. So just some really good short videos just to get you into it. Another good place to start is in the program section here. So these are tra their training programs they're recommending for the tread. Ah, so. I said I was going to join a class a little while ago, so it's just telling me that, it's just reminding me to start that class. I'm just going to tap on there and it'll go away. So this one I thought was going to be really good, but if you're new to running, it's actually a little bit hard because if you're starting at some really easy runs, say five out of 10, these start at about seven out of 10. So I would say the road to 5K, which I thought might be easy, is actually more of an intermediate program. If you click on collections, or you just scroll down from here, it takes you into collections. Uh, you've got a lot of themed rides. So you've got Peloton picks for running, some really good runs in there. You've also got um, one that I really liked, which is kind of buried down here. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. So this should be up there with the programs, I think. So welcome to running. So the rides, the runs here start with the easiest so if we look at this one, it's a 6.3 out of 10. So not the easiest easy ride, but kind of okay, I can do this one. And this is for runners who are either new to running or just returning to running. In addition to that, you've also got these themed rides. So Elvis, The Beatles, Beyonce, um, there's loads of these. Holiday Time, Gratitude Week. There's a lot of, a lot of themed uh, classes on here. and. Um, and workouts. If you're new to running or, or like me, I'm a severe asthmatic, which does make running quite difficult for me. Um, I just started off with 20 minute runs. I selected the difficulty as beginner and I started with the easiest class. So the easiest class on, on here is this one. This is a 5.5 .5 out of 10 difficulty. It took me two goes to actually complete that run. Uh, as per the instructions by the coach. But within the space of, let's see how many runs I've done. So I've done, where are the runs? 25 runs. And if I look at my workout history, my last run was this one. And that's view the class. So I've gone from a 5.1 up to a 6.7. And I was able to complete this class as per the instructions from the coach. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments and either I'll try and answer them or somebody else in the community will. If you're enjoying this video, then please hit the like button. This channel is about laid back home fitness. So if that's something that interests you, then please don't forget to subscribe as well. It really helps the channel out. So the next thing I wanna show you is the metrics that you get on the screen when you're using the tread. So on the left hand side, you've got incline and the incline can go all the way up to 12.5. But you also get, as you've seen here, you get these um, kind of pre-programmed figures. So I've got them set to one, two, and four, but if I want to, I can just change them. 
uh, and customize these shortcuts to suit me. These just work for me. Also on the speed, you've got speed on this side, so let's bring that right down and let's start moving the speed knob. Again here, this is what I use for a brisk walk. Oops. This is where I am for a brisk walk. This is my jog speed and six is my run speed. When you use these, it also shows you your pace. So if I move up to a jog, you can see my pace changes. So I can't talk and run, so <laughs> I come back down to a walk. You can also see that you get an output figure. So this is my output right now, 144 watts. Um, you get your average and you also get your best. And that's the same for pace as well. You can see how many uh, calories you've burned, your total output in kilojoules, as well as your distance in miles. This can be changed for kilometers. So let's look at the data that gives you when you finish a class. So I'm on this one because it's my best one. I can see that there's a leaderboard on this ride and out of 6,706 people, there's my position. Uh, bearing in mind this is a beginner run. That's why I'm so high up. I can see that I also got my best output and three's company. So two of my friends on here have also done this run. I can see my total output in kilojoules, the distance I traveled, the elevation and my calories. Uh, I kept the incline at zero. Uh, my average speed was 5.3 miles per hour um, and my average pace was 11.24 minutes per mile. And then if we look here, we can see my output. So with this particular ride, uh, run, sorry, uh, you can see it's intervals and at, towards the end, the intervals get shorter and they get harder. You can see the dip. So here between the intervals, I went from running, sorry, jog, running to jogging. But from here, I went from running back down to walking. You can see my pace as well there, as well as my speed throughout this. Uh, and the incline is just zero because I did it all at zero. So on this side panel here as well, I can click on my achievements to see all the milestones that I've um, achieved since I've had the Peloton. Uh, I can also click on my activity and here, here are my output bars. You can change that to distance. You can change that for calories, average output. And if you connect a heart rate monitor, such as a scotch, you can see your, your heart rate as well data. I don't know why that's there. I don't wear a heart rate monitor. <laughs> you can also look at the music that you've liked. So when you run, if there's a song that you like, you can heart it. And then what you can do is connect your Spotify or Apple Music account and then you can listen to them off the tread. So the last thing I'm gonna show you in this video is how to stack classes. So let's look at this. If I look at um, classes, sorry, and I wanna start off with some stretching um, and it's a, a pre-run warm-up. So I'm gonna press and hold on there and it adds it to the stack. I'm then gonna do, let's do a hike. And I'm gonna do a boot camp. I'm gonna do a 45, oh, that looks too difficult. I'm not doing it, so I'll just click on it. <laughs> I've added a 45 minute boot camp, and at the end of that, I wanna do some stretching, a post run stretch this time. I'm just gonna select that one. And because I'll be all full of energy, I'm just gonna do uh, five minutes of meditation as well at the end. And if I view that stack, what happens, you can see here is, here's all the workouts I've selected, and they'll just run one into the next one, into the next one, but it will ask you before you start each one if you're ready to start the next part. So here's the first of my tips. So you've just seen me build the stack here. Now on this TV, I'm using the app. So I'm not screencasting from here to here. I'll show you how to do that in a second. I'm just using the Peloton app and it's logged in as me. And what you can see is it's showing me up here in my stack. So when it comes to this five minute warm up that I talked about, I probably wouldn't do that from the Peloton screen. If you've got a lot of room at the back, you can, or if you can see it from the side, you can. But if you've got a TV nearby, which is much better, in my opinion, uh, then I can just start the class here on the TV. Once I finish that class, I then move to the tread, do the tread bits. And then when I finish those, I'll come back to here to finish the, uh, the, the cool down and, and maybe the meditation I might do on my phone via the, the app on my phone. It's a really good 
kind of uh, ecosystem and Peloton have been really clever in how you can access the content. If you haven't got uh, a Fire Stick, a Roku or an Apple TV, you can screencast from here if you've got the right smart TV. So it needs to have Miracast. So you just go down here to screen share and that brings up the screen share screen on your TV. I hope it has, I'm gonna look now. It's just coming on. <laughs> and then you can see it says it's Miracast, which is what the, the tread needs. I'm gonna to go to the tread and I'm gonna just screen share from here. To do that, you go to settings in the top corner here and then you wanna click screencast or cast screen and that finds your TV. If it works, if it's the right TV, then you click connect and then you can see that it's casting to the telly. The TV then picks up the signal and within, well, moments, it should duplicate the screen that's on the, the tread. So that screen there is being, the data is coming from this screen here. As you see me work through this screen here, you should also see the same things happening on the, the TV. There's a slight lag, but it, it does work really, really well. And my next tip is if you're like me, just leave your headphones on the tread uh, and you're always worried about them going flat, there is a charging port on the back of the screen. So it's a USB-C, so you'll need to have USB-C to wherever you're gonna plug into, but it does work really well. Here's the one I have tucked in behind the bike and all I do then is this cable just sits there out of sight. I just plug in my USB charger and then I can just charge whatever I like. Next tip, we're nearly there. I feel like this is gonna be quite a long video. <laughs> is if you know somebody who's got a tread or a bike, before you order yours, if you haven't ordered it already, speak to them and ask them what their opinions are and get their advice. Um, and if you feel like they're giving you really good advice, ask them for their referral code. And what that means is they'll give you a code and when you, before you check out to order your tread or your bike, you put in the referral code and you'll both get 100 pounds, dollars, euros, whatever your local currency is, to spend in the Peloton apparel shop, which is where all the PE, come, PE kit comes from. So my last tip is a two in one. <laughs> so it's the first part of it is try all the instructors. So you will find that you really gel with some instructors over others. So I really like Selena Samuela, Chris Tucker, I really like Olivia. Actually, it looks like I like them all, doesn't it? Matt Wilpers is a really good technical instructor. Be Rebecca Kennedy, her energy is just amazing. And I'm looking for Matty, because Matty is just superb. Here, uh, Matty is just a fantastic instructor. I think, I think he might be my favorite. Uh, oh, and then there's Robin. So Robin is the head instructor. Uh, where is she? Let's look down here. Robin is the head instructor for Peloton. And I mean, she's, she's excellent as well. You can tell she's a head instructor. She's a fantastic teacher. Now, the other thing I wanna show you is this. So this is kind of hidden. So I've talked about searching along here, haven't I? So that's look at, we'll keep all this blank. I'm gonna show you how to search by a particular genre. So you might want 70s music, 80s music, Aerosmith, for instance. There are 98 Aerosmith running classes. Uh, but let's go back because, um, I'm going to show you this. If you start typing in faster smile here, there's like, I don't know if they're meant to be a secret or what, but there's a load of classes in here about improving your one mile time. So all, this, all these classes here are aimed towards just getting a really good one mile time. So looking to chip away at your mile time. I think they're really good classes. Well, if you're still here, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've not edited it yet, I'll put the footage together, but it feels like it might be a long one. I'll try and cut it down as best I can. Um, yeah, so if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'll put some more videos around me now that you'll enjoy, and until next time, see you soon.